I'm making a mental note right now of things I need to do. I think I'm gonna work ahead on homework because my professor made like three assignments due on Friday and like five on literally Easter Sunday. So I think I'm gonna do that sometime today, preferably after my nails dry. This was kind of inconvenient, but I honestly had nothing else to do. When we're about to move out and we actually clean the dorm, I would like to show you around. It is hideous right now. I'm not really sure if that's like a habitable place right now. Let me go check. My tire went flat for the fifth time this semester. Mmm, thirsty streets. Figuring out podcasts. It is officially move out day, which is absolute insanity. I live in Johnson Hall, and in between my cleaning and my packing process, I decided I wanted to document my room here a little bit, since I'll be living in Watson next year and probably every year after that. Basically, you live with seven other girls, four bedrooms, two in each room. You share a big bathroom and a common room and a balcony and it's really close to classes, which I like. Um, we arguably have the best lobby out of all the freshman dorms. But yeah, let me show you around a little bit. By the door, I put a key hook halfway through last semester, which is really convenient. I have this aesthetic photo that inspires me to study harder. A couple of doodles that I made during PBA lead because I was bored in class. Anyway, um, I actually forgot about these. That's kind of funny. I arranged my furniture so that it would be the closet right when you walk in. Johnson comes with like this wardrobe thingy. I left a little space in between the wardrobe and the wall right there. And I used to have my keyboard stored right there, but lately it's just been out in the common room. So all Johnson rooms come with this like 
<laughs> that thing. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I've made the most of it and it comes with hook thingies. So I hung up some bags. I used to put my towels right there. Um, my boyfriend hung up a propane tank for me because I, because he's like that. I don't know. I think it was cute. I put a little mirror that I never use right there. I could have also put the desk facing the wall, but I don't know. I wanted a little more space to get ready and stuff right there. I know there's not a lot of stuff online about what the Johnson furniture is like. Let me show you a little bit of it. The desks have like three drawers. These two are kind of smallish and this one's a lot deeper. This one I always had like my school stuff in uh, specifically. Um, this one I had like makeup, like perfume, jewelry, random like beauty stuff. And this one had more like school stuff, like note cards. It was a lot more organized before I threw everything in here to pack later, so. There's this pullout drawer. It is so messy because it's just been my like random collection of stuff I'll deal with later drawer. So I'm ashamed to show you, but it definitely fits a lot more than it looks. But yeah, that's the desk. Moving on to under the bed, I had a mini fridge right there, but for a move out, I've had to defrost it or whatever it's called. Um, so it's on my balcony right now. These two boxes right there, that one had food in it and stuff. And that one's like my random like memory box type thing. This body pillow right here that I just shoved in between there. It would be like so nice to just sit against the wall on the bed. So I definitely recommend getting a body pillow. If you have a standard sized mini fridge, this type of box could have rested in between the bed and that. I used this stool to get up on my bed. Stumpy, my stool, has been the firm foundation of our dorm. There's really more than enough storage. I know a lot of people have like storage cubes right there for clothes and stuff, but I really didn't need it. So I would hold off on buying like extra storage space until you know that you need it. When you arrange your bed against the wall like this in Johnson, sometimes there is the unfortunate chance that you'll get a corner thingy like this and there will be space in between your bed. So one big thing about living in Johnson is like getting pillows like this to put right there so that your pillow won't like fall and like, I don't know, it's just a lot more comfortable. It's like a little makeshift headboard. But yeah, that's really all I needed. I would say three max because sometimes this even gets annoying. PBA dorms, like any college, honestly, bring your own lighting. Um, I brought this floor lamp back from Ikea that I had already at home. It's really nice in that this light is a lot brighter than the ceiling light. It also has this thing that I never actually use as a reading light. Like right before bed, I'll just use that one and the room will be a little darker. I know Walmart has them for like $10 around that range. I bought one for the common room. I put a tiny little photo collage up. My friend Happy gave me these records and I have this poster that I got in Switzerland like four years ago. A little random assortment. Some would say our view is unfortunate. And when I'm in bed, like this is kind of my view. That's coastal towers in the distance. I put an echo dot right there, which is really nice to have. I mostly just use it as a speaker and an alarm in the morning. This salt lamp that I thrifted that isn't actually a lamp. It's just a rock of salt. Um, I have a basket with like lotion and stuff and this hedgehog that's very important. Our room was always like cold, like just adjust to warm and cool and like the intensity of the fan. It's really not too bad. It's old, but it works. Let's see how easily I can pack all of my belongings. Pretty much my entire life in like four hours before I have to check out at five. Um, I also have to do a list of chores. My dad is getting here at like one. That is the plan for today. We'll see how this goes. It is so hard. I cannot even express. Are 
dirty. I'm trying to protect my child here. scrubbing my shower five minutes before my checkout time it's so nice to be home i hope you enjoy thank you for watching stay tuned